Hey guys! Welcome to another video here on our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of creating 3D characters with an incredible tool, Vroid Studio. If you've always wanted to bring your own virtual characters to life in an easy and fun way, this video is for you. Vroid Studio is a powerful 3D modeling tool that allows anyone, even without prior experience in design or animation, to create incredible characters for use in games, animations, or even on social media. Let's explore some of the features that make Vroid Studio such a popular choice among digital creation enthusiasts. Vroid Studio's user-friendly interface makes character creation an intuitive experience. With a variety of tools at your disposal, from face modeling to choosing clothes and accessories, Vroid Studio offers a wide range of options for customization. During the process, you can adjust every detail to ensure that your character is unique and has the personality you want to convey. One of Vroid Studio's strengths is the ability to add stunning textures and details to your characters. From skin to hair, you'll have complete control over your model's appearance. This means you can create everything from realistic characters to more stylized figures, allowing for great creative flexibility. And best of all, it's completely free and available on all platforms, including Steam. But does not stop there. Vroid Studio isn't just about creating static characters, you can also animate them. With the built-in animation functionality, you can bring your characters to life, whether with simple movements or more complex animations. This opens the door to creating engaging and captivating visual stories. Another incredible aspect of Vroid Studio is its cross-platform compatibility. You can export your characters for use in animation software, games, or even virtual reality. This versatility makes Vroid Studio a valuable tool for anyone looking to take their characters beyond the creative environment. In this video, we will teach you in a practical way how to use Vroid Studio models in Blender 3.6. So keep watching our video to learn this tip that will be essential for creating your own anime character models. Now, let's take a quick look at how to create a simple character using Vroid Studio. I'll share some tips and tricks to make the process easier and more fun. Follow these simple steps to get started. Launch Vroid Studio and create a new project. Choose Genre. Select your character's gender at the beginning of the creation process. Choose between male or female. Remove all parts of clothing, hair and accessories to have the base body to create new models within the blender. Face and body model. Use the modeling tools to adjust features such as face shape, eye size, shoulders and body curves. For male characters, try a more pronounced jawline and broad shoulders. For female characters, soften features and highlight delicate curves. Facial expressions and pose. Adjust facial expressions to convey your character's personality. Try stronger expressions for male characters and softer expressions for female characters. Pose your character sharply for males and more gracefully for females. Review your character, make any final adjustments, and when you're satisfied, export your model for use in other software or platforms. In Vroid Studio, go to the main menu and click File and then Export. When you click on Export, you will have the option to choose the export format. Select VRM from the list of options. A configuration window will appear. Here, you can adjust different export options like model quality, texture resolution, and other details. Make sure to select the desired settings. After configuring the options, click Save and choose the location on your computer where you want to save the VRM file. Give your VRM file a name and click Save to confirm. This will create your character's VRM file in your chosen location. Now that you have exported the VRM file, you can import it into software compatible with this format, such as Unity or Blender, to incorporate your character into game or animation projects. Additionally, many virtual reality platforms and social networks support VRM models for customizing avatars. Accessing the link in the description of this video will take you to the GitHub page where we can download the add-on. In releases, we will have all versions of the add-on from the oldest to the most current. Download the add-on. Launch Blender on your computer. In Blender, go to Edit and select Preferences. 
In the Preferences menu, click the Add-ons tab. In the lower left corner of the Preferences window, click the Install button. Navigate to the folder where you unzip the zip file and select the file named io underscore scene underscore vrm dot zip. Click Install Add-on. Once installed, search for VRM in the list of add-ons and check the box next to Import Export VRM Format to activate the add-on. Click Save Preferences in the lower left corner of the Preferences window. Close and reopen Blender for the changes to take effect. You should now have the VRM Importer add-on installed and activated in Blender. To import a VRM model, go to File Import VRM .vrm. Make sure the VRM Importer add-on is installed in Blender. If you haven't already, follow the instructions provided earlier on how to install the add-on. Launch Blender on your computer. Go to File Import VRM .vrm. A window will open. Browse to the location of your VRM template and select it. Depending on the VRM model you are importing, there may be a few options to configure such as scale, rotation, etc. Be sure to check and adjust as needed. Click Import VRM to import the model into Blender. After importing, your VRM model will appear in the Blender scene. Now you can view, edit, and animate the model as per your need. And that's it, folks. I hope this video has inspired you to explore the amazing world of creating 3D characters with Vroid Studio. This tool not only simplifies the process, but also makes the experience fun and accessible for everyone. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content about digital creation. Leave in the comments if you have already used Vroid Studio or if you have any questions about the tool.